What's up, FOA squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Happy Friday to you guys. So today I wanted to come on and have a little chit-chat, a little conversation with you guys about a comment that was made by Curtis. Uh, and I think it was the day before, excuse me, the day before video. And Curtis said that he misses the days where I was working full-time and living in my car full-time. First of all, Curtis, I don't miss the days of working full time at all. <laughs> so <laughs> let me just get that out the way. <laughs> but um, it got me to thinking just a little bit. Um, have I abandoned car life? Because I don't stay in my car nowhere near as much as I did uh, three or four months ago. And to answer that to myself and to you guys, I don't think that I am abandoning car life. I think that I am living car life differently than I did three or four months ago. Three or four months ago, before our community started growing in May, I was working. I was in PA. So therefore, I had to be in PA and I had to work. So that was kind of like the beginning ground, the, the foundation of hopefully better things to come. I always tell someone if they ask me for some advice about how to like stay warm in the wintertime or cool in the summertime. And my number one advice is to stay out of your vehicle as much as possible. You know, I think that I feel like I still am a car lifer because I don't have a permanent place to go to. I don't have an apartment to go to. I don't have a house to go to. You know, when I take a trip and you know how when you you take a vacation and you're excited to go on vacation, but at the same time, you're glad to be back at home. Well, I don't have that luxury of that feeling because when I get back to PA, I'm literally getting back to going no place, you know? I'm literally getting back or going back to being out or living out in, in my car on the streets of PA. So I don't have that same feeling when I return back from a road trip of some sort, you know? But I still believe that I'm a part of the car life, you know? The thing is, you know, when my biggest fear, my biggest fear of traveling and staying in my car is that I don't know the areas and I know that I would feel uncomfortable being in a city that I don't know the area. And a lot of it came from when I took that first road trip to Pittsburgh, Cleveland, and Chicago and Milwaukee. And you guys were like, oh, no, don't stay in your car and, you know, stay at a hotel, the crime rate here, et cetera, et cetera. And I kind of took that and ran with it, you know, and I just decided from that point that where when I travel, it would just be much easier and more enjoyable for myself and the places that I travel to if I did not have to worry about where I'm going to park every night. Or if I did not have to worry about after a long day out of uh, visiting and seeing attractions and doing things in different cities that I have to go and sit in my car. You know, the car is, the car is small. It is, it's small. And I just don't think that I would feel comfortable, like I said, like I'm going to Tennessee and I've never been to Tennessee. And I'm planning and looking up all different things that I want to do and see in Tennessee. And I'm just trying to imagine myself when I'm in Tennessee and I have this full day planned of activities to do. And after I finish all of those activities, I have no place to go but to my car. And is that going to be, you know, comfortable? Now, I will say that if I had something or I was living in something that was a little slightly bigger, 
than what I have now, for instance, a minivan or a cargo van, you know, things might be a little different because I will feel much safer in something a little bigger. I will feel a lot more comfortable in, you know, the minivan that I had, if I was in Tennessee and I had that minivan and I went all out and about, and about my day and I did a bunch of stuff, I had a nice, comfortable flat bed that I could go to, park somewhere and lay down and just, it's just the difference of having a SUV than something else slightly bigger, you know? The only comfort that I have in that car is to either go in the back and lay down on the bed or be sitting in one of the front two seats. That's not healthy on a long-term basis to always just be sitting up in the car. Not making excuses, just the reality of the difference between living in your SUV or car than something that's much bigger that you can be much comfortable in. Which brings me to my next thought is, I am going to get something slightly bigger, an, either a minivan or a cargo van. I know I have been going back and forth about it, telling you guys one day I'm not buying anything, telling you guys the next day I'm looking and this, that, and the other. But things are expensive. It's ridiculous what these people are asking for a used vehicle. It's just, it's flat out ridiculous. And the thing is that I want you guys to keep in perspective is that I have to balance my finances so that two things can happen. These are the two most important financial things that I need to make sure that I can take care of. I need to make sure, <clears throat> excuse me, I need to make sure that I can take care of my dental work. That's going to be pricey. I have to get these teeth pulled. I have to get new teeth up front and the bottom. And it's going to be costly. And at the same time, I really would like a, a slightly bigger vehicle. So I'm balancing my finances in a responsible way where I can take care of both of those things and still feel like I have the ability and the means to continue to travel and be out and about. Um, so it's not just as simple as me going somewhere and, and picking a vehicle and buying a vehicle. I can't go and buy an RV. I don't want an RV, first of all, because that to me is just much more expensive to manage and have, and I don't want that. Um, but it's about being responsible, you know? And getting back to, you know, do I feel like I am abandoning life, uh, car life? I'm not abandoning it. I'm just living it in a different way, a, a much more comfortable way. It's kind of like the hotel is a, okay, I don't know what's the, the term or phrase I'm looking for. Okay, I don't know the term I'm looking for. I, I had it in my mind, but it just, it just flew out. Um, I guess I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to say. I know that a lot of people who joined the channel or joined our community came through the, the grits uh, and, and corned beef hash video. And at that time that video was put out, I was cooking more in my car. I was being in my car more. But, you know, then summertime came. I'm not going to be cooking in my car in the summertime. I think it's just a certain thing that people have to understand. You know, it's 100 degrees outside. I'm not cooking in my car, you know. So, therefore, we had, what, three, four months of heat. So, therefore, I was not in my car. I'm not, I try to stay out of my car during the summer as much as possible, you know? And I came down to Fort Lauderdale. I'm gonna tell you now, there's no way in H-E double hockey sticks that I was going to try and stay in my car in that heat in Florida. So I think you have to look at it that way and you have to give 
not even the benefit of the doubt. You have to think logically about that. You know, I'm in Florida. I'm not gonna stay in my car in that type of heat, you know? So it's not like I'm abandoning car life. I'm just living it uh, differently according to where I am. When I am, excuse me, when I am when I am back in PA and or Baltimore, I will stay in my car. Now, even in Baltimore where I have a ton of family, I still would stay in my car. And, and when I'm back in PA, which is where I consider my hometown, my home base, I will be in my car. But because I have a routine in PA, you know, my home base, I have a routine. I know the library, I know places I can go, I know the park and everything, you know. Now, I did think about it once and I said, okay, well, not once during this whole process that I'm going through now, is that I could try and apply that same routine that I do in PA in other states or other cities that I go to, meaning I can research where the library is, where the gym is, and just kind of incorporate that. But the thing that I would run into is not knowing or becoming familiar with the areas that these pl uh, places are in. And I don't know. Um, I'd like to know your thoughts on on this uh, conversation. Do you feel like do you feel like I am abandoning or I have abandoned the car life? Do you feel as though I'm living more out of my car than in my car? And is that a bad thing? Is that a good thing? Uh, or do you don't care? Do you do you think the hotel stays are a good idea? I mean, managing the different temperatures or for whatever reason you might think being in a hotel is a good idea. I'm very eager and anxious to hear what you guys think about this. Um, I know a lot of you are going to say, okay, is your life, do you boo, live your life, this, that, and the other, but I'm really, really would like to know what you think about it. I mean, the channel and the, you know, you guys seem to enjoy the channel and I hope that you continue to enjoy the content that I put out, whether I'm in a car, an apartment, a hotel, or wherever I am or wherever I stay. I hope that you continue to enjoy the content and everything. Um, but I would like to know, um, it is, I can, I can understand and see, I can understand and see why or how Curtis came up with that comment, because it might be, I don't know, maybe me being in the car more is more intriguing and interesting than me now being able to travel and and stay, you know, in hotels or whatever. It's just a different direction now because of the the ability that I have now that I did not have two or three months ago. You know what I mean? It's kind of like car life is an evolution, you know? And to be fair about everything, I don't know. There's probably only one car lifer or van lifer that I watch that appears in my perspective to be always be in their vehicle. And that's Force the Force. All the other car lifers and van lifers that I watch are not in their vehicles 24 seven. They either stand at a friend's house or they either you know, whatever the case, they, or they either took a break from it altogether and got an apartment for a year and then went back into it. I don't really know too many people out there that stays in their vehicles 24-7 without taking some type of break from it. Um, I think even if you have the biggest vehicle at a motorhome or RV that you still will end up taking a break. Look at where's Tiffany. She just recently 
came off the road and said that she needed a break and that it was burnout traveling a lot. I just think that it is a necessity to have longevity in this lifestyle and it's been proven it doesn't matter what size vehicle you have but a much smaller vehicle is definitely a much needed break than someone who has a bigger vehicle but I'm gonna stop rambling on um, I think that this is a very interesting conversation um, I would love to hear what you guys think about it all right guys that's gonna do it for today as always thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos i appreciate you guys you know that and i'll see you guys the next time